Hi friends, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Shahi Creations. I'm thrilled to have you here for today's creative adventure. A warm welcome to the you and you video hope with the all new certified educators. Check out the details in the description below to stay in the loop and find out who's next on this exciting hop. In today's tutorial, I'll be creating a floral card using some fabulous alternate products. To begin with, we need our card base. I'm using white classic rest card stocks here. It's known for its smooth finish and great ink blending properties. We'll be working with three card stocks measuring 4 1 by 4 into 5 and a half inches and two card stocks measuring 4 into 5 1 by 4 inches. Let's take one of the 4 into 5 1 by 4 inch card stock and place it on alternate stamping wheel. This tool is a game changer for precise stamping. We'll be using the Sulphur Cosmos stamp set from the Altenews Builder Garden subscription set for our floral outline. This set contains one 6 into 8 stamp set and one simple coloring stencil set and a background stencil set and one mini blending brush for ink blending. Now let's ink up your stamp with obsidian black pigment ink and stamp the flower focusing on the left side of the cardstock. The obsidian black pigment ink provides a rich crisp outline, perfect for detailed stamping. Next, let's bring our flowers to life with some color using the layering stencil from the Sulphur Cosmos set. For the petals, start with Wisteria for the first layer. Use a light hand to apply the ink, creating a soft base to the color. Then add depth with Hydrangea for the second layer. This two-step process adds dimension and realistic look to the petals. For the stem, we are going to create a gradient effect using honey drizzle crisp dye ink for depth near the base and fresh lemon crisp dye ink to blend out. This combination from the pocket of sunshine crisp dye ink collection gives the stem a natural and a vibrant look. Remember, blending the colors smoothly where they meet is a key to achieve a seamless gradient. Once your coloring is complete, trim the right side of the cardstock around the flower. This adds a dynamic touch to your design. Now, take the second 4 1 by 4 into 5 1⁄2 inch cardstock. We'll be working on the right side of this piece. Use the background stencil from the Sulphur Cosmo set and apply the same yellow and violet inks to create a cohesive background. Once your stenciling is done, run this piece through the Diamond Stars 3D Embossing Folder by Altenew. The embossing adds texture and dimension making your card visually appealing. Next, layer the trimmed flower cardstock over the stenciled and the embossed piece. Use double sided tape to secure it firmly, ensuring a neat and polished look. For adding a sentiment, I am using your lovely stamp from the set. Let's stamp it with the obsidian black pigment ink and then use the coordinating die to cut it out. This gives you a clean and professional finish. Now let's decide on the card base. We have two options, a black cardstock base or a white one. Initially I had thoughts of picking the white cardstock as the base but eventually I ended up preferring the black base as it makes the color pops beautifully. But I would like to hear your thoughts too. Which one do you prefer? black or the white card stock? Let me know in the comments below. To finish off the card, let's add some enamel dots from Altenew. They have got a plenty with different varieties. These little accents add a touch of elegance and a bit of sparkle completing the look perfectly. And there you have it, a lovely vibrant card made with Altenew products. Thank you for crafting with me today. Don't forget to hope along with us. The next stop on the hope is in the description below. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please like and subscribe for more crafting tips and tutorials. Happy crafting!